channel my name is Jay and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell button right there so you get notified every time I post a new video today's video is gonna be about my pregnancy update at 22 weeks and answering some questions um, I had a lot of questions that you guys wanted to know on my Instagram and today I'm just gonna let you guys know my answers at 22 weeks I am the baby is the size of a, let me see what my app says, of a spaghetti squash. And the app I have is called Baby Center. You could download it on iTunes or on a, I think it works on Samsung or Androids too. And it says that my baby is the size of a spaghetti squash and I'm currently on 124 days left to go and that's pretty insane and it's kind of like almost here and i'm just kind of like oh my god so i'm almost on my try on my third trimester i know my third trimester starts at 25 weeks so i'm at 22 almost at 23 and just two more weeks to go for my to enter my last trimester so i'm kind of excited and just uh, want to get over with all of this already and just want to have my baby girl here already and just start my new chapter in my life so start a new chapter in my life and it just basically this app is pretty amazing and lets you know what your baby's going through in your womb right now how your body is and all that stuff so right now it's saying that my baby is able to hear from faintly from inside your body and such as your breathing your heartbeat and your digestions and yeah so the sounds uh, will improve and all that stuff when the baby gets a little bit more um, stronger and obviously grows more in my belly and um, yeah so that's pretty much what my app says um, that I am today and let's get going to the questions um, what so this question goes from my Instagram and this question is what were your symptoms before you found out so I basically didn't have any symptoms when I found out I just was kind of not feeling myself and I wasn't being like myself I was very kind of like moody ish and I kind of seemed like just over like down and just like eh, about stuff and I'd just be like what's wrong like what's wrong with me and I kind of figured that I was pregnant because I I had the same situation happen when I was pregnant with Jayla and that's what pretty much led me to getting a what's it called a pregnancy test so that's when I found out I was pregnant but no I didn't really have a lot of symptoms when I just found out I was pregnant after I found out I was pregnant I was like whoop whoop I had a lot of symptoms I was vomiting I was nauseous and all that stuff so not great <laughs> Um, what helped you sleep during your last trimester? So basically what helped me sleep in my last trimester with Jayla would be um, listening to um, like ocean sleep, like ocean deep sleep music on my Pandora app and they're sleeping with that on the side and it'll just uh, really really help me in having a deep sleep and relax my mind and my head from things and just made me feel peaceful inside so that's what helped me a lot and definitely gonna be doing that again because I felt like it helped me tremendously what does it feel like when they kick so gradually the kick um, feels more stronger by the time the baby grows more and stuff like that so when the baby is just like barely in your in your stomach and it's just a little little baby you could barely feel like a little like swarm like a little worm inside you um as the as the baby gets older and the baby start growing the kicks actually literally feel like kicks like you just feel like like little kicks everywhere here and there so it's really strong um once the baby's like at 25 weeks or so the kicks are stronger you can actually feel like the hand stretching out you can see like the, the leg uh like sorry you can feel like the leg stretching out in certain ways oh my goodness but it's such an incredible feeling so 
sorry I'm just like burping <sighs> okay but um yeah the kicks just feel like normal kicks afterwards and it's just crazy but yes feels like kicks do you have any weird cravings if so what are they I do not have any weird cravings like anything weird you would say I eat like stuff like normal but um yeah even with jayla i didn't have any weird cravings either just like a lot of jalapenos and spicy stuff that's what i was mostly into but nope not anything weird and this again says weirdest cravings and did you end up finding a name much love and stay safe thank you for yes well stay safe out there you guys um my weirdest craving like i said i don't have any weird craving and did i find out a name for the baby no we have not found out a name for the baby I've been trying for like these past days since we've just been home. I've been really, really trying and trying to find a good name for the baby and nothing has hit home. Nothing feels right. So we just kind of still keep on going with that. Will you do epidural or no? I definitely not will be doing epidural. With Jayla, I didn't do an epidural. I did it all natural. And with this baby, I'm trying to do it natural as well. Um, this pregnancy is different though and so I just don't know what my plans will be in the moment I'm in labor just because I'm saying I want it to be natural doesn't always mean that I am going to be doing natural because I don't know if I'm going to be going to be doing an emergency section or you know getting epidural for such reason and stuff like that so I don't know but my mindset is always going natural and that's what I really wish to do but at the moment we shall see but for sure keeping it cross for having my birth to be all natural and no medication whatsoever so yeah thank you for asking what pregnancy was harder first baby or the second one definitely definitely um, this baby has been the hardest pregnancy yet um, Obviously because of my arthritis and I have my symptoms that are my joints and, and just a lot of deformation going on at the moment. That's something I sacrificing um, with this child, having my joints deform and not having proper medication taken. So that's what's really, 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 really the toughest thing that um, is going on with this pregnancy. And I just went through so much with this pregnancy and it just kind of it's the hardest 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 one i've had and hopefully my labor isn't all bad and it just kind of flows with it being very natural and no hesitations of anything whatsoever and yeah but a lot of joint pains a lot of deformations on my joints right now just waking up being it all stiff sometimes and but at the moment right now like i said um having rheumatoid arthritis and being pregnant also could help you um because you technically don't have a lot of the symptoms of having of a chronic disease so um, right now i'm not feeling as much but i do see that um, my joints were deforming and that was because at the beginning of my pregnancy i wouldn't be taking anything at all from for like my rheumatoid arthritis so at the beginning of pregnancy i was hurting a lot my hands were stiff a lot and my feet were swelling up a lot and i just had a lot a lot of pain and with that being said like everything that was going on between my first to my third um, month of being pregnant like i saw and i'm seeing and i'm looking at the uh, at the disorders that i'm i'm having now but um right now thank god i haven't had any pain as much but uh, that's because again everything works well with being pregnant and having arthritis it lowers down your symptoms and for some people they're really lucky and they have no symptoms at all and all that but definitely this pregnancy has been the hardest so far how does your stomach feel after birth so my stomach when jayla was born it felt like uh like a big fat dough ball just in my stomach just a big fat dough like all mushy and all like uh, like all wrinkly and mushy and stuff but 
uh, it's just a weird sensation to even touch your stomach because it's all floppy and that's pretty much how I describe it being a floppy being uh, like dough like just very just eh but um, if you wear like a faja or something you wear that all the time it'll help your stomach and all the things that you have inside go more and just make it feel more better and all that but definitely definitely feels like my side it feels like dough and it feels floppy and it feels just not right <laughs> so it definitely feels like that and all soft that too it feels really soft and just just really eh. what are your what are you craving the most and the thing i am craving the most would be a lot of fruits uh, a lot of tajin with fruits, a lot of uh, enchiladas rojas, enchiladas verdes, enchilaquiles. Oh my god, like I could eat five of that and just anything that has queso crema and all of that inside I've craved the most. But definitely a lot of fruits with tajin and lemon and I've just been craving a lot of Mexican food. Definitely, definitely. This baby has been more in the Mexican side this time with Jayla I was craving a lot of Asian food and hold on because my baby's caught so yeah definitely that's been something that I've been craving and how has your pregnancy been having arthritis I kind of just talked about that and it's just been really um painful in the beginning of my pregnancy but now it's just been more relieving a little bit better and I hope it just gets better throughout my pregnancy and the rest of it so yeah just it's just been really really bad like I mentioned but now like I just hope everything is fine and keeps on going better what were your first symptoms and were they different from your first pregnancy yes definitely um, this pregnancy has been uh, different from my first pregnancy with Jayla I didn't vomit I didn't have nausea I wasn't nauseous and I didn't have like sensitive smell at all with this pregnancy i have all of that i had morning sickness i would throw up at work like three times and i'd, be, I'd have to be sent home um, the smell of the pizza where i work at is just was terrible i couldn't smell the marinara sauce i would gag i would just if a customer smelled bad i could literally smell him from like where the entrance of the door is and I don't want to gag and I just uh, it was it was just so terrible so definitely been having more of symptoms this pregnancy so yeah totally different than when Jayla is and another one another question is do you have any stretch marks no I don't have any stretch marks yet um, I know with Jayla I only had stretch marks. I know this is weird and it's too much information, but I had a stretch mark in my vagina, like in front of where my vagina is at. Um, it just kind of got a little bit dark and um, had like a little line, but I know it's a stretch mark. That's the only stretch marks I've had. Um, other than that, my stomach just never really had a stretch mark at all. That's the only part that I would have a stretch mark and I'm thankful for that and just my chichis so, like because I kind of scratch them and it's been itchy and I'm trying not to itch but um, yeah I just put like shea butter on them and try not to scratch it because definitely that's something that uh, it just kind of itches way more but no thankful thankfully I don't have any stretch marks my mom never had stretch marks either so I'm just I'm thinking it's just genetically and I'm just blessed with not having any stretch marks but we'll see within the time being if my body stretches more if I have more stretch marks then I'll update you guys on that but for the meanwhile I do not have any stretch marks another question would be um, is your belly in any or an outie um, my belly right now I just realized that my my little belly button is kind of kind of wanting to stick out but with Jayla, it never stuck out at all, like, fully. It just kind of, kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just kind of just opened up a bit. And that's what I just realized right now that, uh, I just realized yesterday night that my belly was kind of just, eh, about peeking to, like, stick out. And it was kind of, 
kind of like crazy because then that means like my baby's actually growing and it's actually like coming to life that I'm getting bigger so yeah definitely that's one of my uh, belly thing that's going on right now <laughs> um, and then um, another question was do you feel any more any movements how the movements going so my movements right now she's kicking a lot more at night that's when um she kicks a lot and i'm telling you like i can't even sleep right because if i sleep on the side she's kicking me more and then if i sleep if i turn on the other side she's kicking me if i turn like like the way i'm just laying down she kicks more that way and i think it's because she doesn't like that position so i try to always just lean on one side or the other and i'm always doing that back and forth now um within this like week because she's just been constantly kicking me and yeah so it's just a lot of movement she's doing and she's been doing that since she was like 20 weeks so like no not even like 20 weeks she was doing that when she was like 15 weeks like just you know just little i would feel little 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 thing and now i just feel her actually movements i hear her hiccups i hear everything now and yeah so definitely a lot of movement and i'm grateful that she's moving a lot because you know that means she's there so yeah, you guys, this kind of wraps up everything. All the questions that I answered were from you guys. And I'm so thankful that you guys have a lot of questions for me. And I'm glad I answered them for you. So I'll be showing you guys my belly. And my belly right now at 22 weeks. Let me see if I could get this camera to kind of go low. And I'm wearing my pajamas, so I'm sorry. But I'm just literally at home with this quarantine stuff. So, get a good picture of that. And, yeah, so that's basically my baby. Like I said, I kind of like, like, I could feel this part coming out. Just peeking through a bit. But it's kind of crazy because you could actually see this little belly growing and growing and growing each day and yeah that is my belly shot at 22 weeks and so yeah you guys that was pretty much everything and i'm so happy if you guys stick through or stuck through all, all of the questions let me know if you did with the little emoji um let's see a little camera emoji if you did and if you guys have any more questions or something i missed or something i'd be more happy to like write that down for you guys in a comment below and stay safe you guys make sure you guys wash your hands sanitize your hands anything stay home be, be precautious and just hopefully everything goes back to normal soon if we if we just stay at home and do everything the governor and the president want us to do so with that with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye